What is going on everyone? Trust the buzz here if you're new to the channel. I make sure all the Hornets content so if that interests you, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. If you cannot tell by the thumbnail title of this video, in today's video we're going to be talking about Miles Bridges. So last night, I'm recording this video like really early in the morning, but last night the Charlotte Hornets beat the Memphis Grizzlies on the road. I forgot what the score was. It was like 102-95 or 112. I don't know. They won by 12 essentially. Either way, it was it was a pretty interesting game, and we're not here to necessarily talk about the game. We're going to talk about Miles Bridges, but I think what we saw last night plays a good part into what I'm about to say. So that's why I'm talking about the game. But anyway, Miles Bridges goes on to score like 27 points. He he basically has a good game, good efficient game. Um, nasty dunk in there. And then what happened essentially was he was the main score for a majority of the game, obviously, with 27 points. I think Meaches did a really good job as well, getting 25 points, eight assists. He's adjusting very well. Uh, and I'll say this. I was – I am still am a Meaches believer, but I've been hard on him recently because there were some things that he was doing that it, at first it worked. And then, like, there was, like, a maybe 10-game stretch, we can maybe seven or eight-game stretch where he kept doing it. And it was like, okay, dude, this is this isn't working. Why haven't you adjusted? And it looks like he is slowly adjusting. So I'm not I, I want to say that when I say things, you'll know how I feel about a player overall, but sometimes I feel as though in general, people are people are taking in the moment reactions as law. And I think we should stop doing that. I, I think we should stop doing that because just because someone says something bad about someone in that moment doesn't mean that's the overall opinion. If Miles Bridges isn't playing well, and I says Miles Bridges isn't playing well, then that doesn't mean I don't want him to resign or anything like that. So I don't know. You, it's just it's just a weird thing with I think it's maybe sports in general, but I really really see in basketball because obviously that's the community I'm involved in. Anyway, Miles Bridges and Meaches did a lot of the scoring, a lot of the heavy lifting, and then I saw people kind of ding Miles. Because of his second half performance, where he didn't really do as much, and, which is fine. I mean, he scored a majority of his points in the first half. I think he took a majority of his shots in the first half. But what worked out was that Grant Williams was able to be there and score like 14 to 15 fourth quarter points to really help the Hornets kind of push away because the Hornets had a good lead going in the half, and then the, the Grizzlies caught back up, but then the Hornets kind of separated themselves, and especially into the fourth quarter, Grant Williams was a big part of that. And that's kind of where I want to say where people are like, whoa, where's Miles? That that's a good team, in my opinion. That that's what we need as a as a team. That's something we've been missing. Even let's just talk really briefly about the Lamelo, you know, stretch that he had at the beginning of the season. There was a lot of time it was if Lamelo wasn't doing what he was doing, we couldn't score. Um, and that's just not always going to be the case. We haven't seen much of it because Lamelo has been out for just such a long time, but. And, and I'm, I'm counting last year as well. There's going to be times he gets double teamed. There's going to be times where he gets the other opposing teams like best defender constantly. There's going to be time. There's just going to be times where the just not in his game. As, as much as I think he's improved, his game is something where he's hot. He's cold. It, it That's just how it is. And that's really how it is in basketball in general. But, like, with his game, especially considering time missed and him still trying to improve, we saw the shot being able to fall. And I promise this is going to get bad in Miles Bridges. But we saw the shot, you know, being able to improve when he's attacking the basketball. With his game, he's hot. He's cold. He takes a lot of deep threes. He makes a lot of deep threes. But sometimes that's not, that's just not always going to go in. He's been He's gotten better at, okay, if that's not going in, I can finish at the rim. We don't know if that's sustainable because he wasn't able to do it for that long. So there's just a lot to really talk about. But I'm not going to ding Miles Bridges because he did not kind of finish the game. He kind of got the team in a position to have someone else step up, which is really all you can ask for. This is what I need for my star players. And as of all intents and purposes, as far as on this roster, Miles Bridges is one of our star players. Whether how I feel about giving him the contract or not, which we'll talk about in a second. If I'm trying to get, gather my thoughts here, but if my if you have a player that is able to, I I need you to set up the team to be successful to have someone else step up, or you can sit back, chill. Obviously, you know, play the game. I'm not saying don't try, but then in the third, fourth quarter, turn up and provide the team the help they need to finish the game. One or the other. That is what you're going to need from your star players. Yes, it's great to have consistency, but that's what you have role players for. That's what happens when you build out a bench is that 
you have guys that can kind of bridge that gap because there it's just you're asking for LeBron, Nikola Jokic, Steph Curry type stuff for players to be able to be dominant over the course of four quarters. One, the rotations just don't work that way. But two, most importantly, it's just not easy to do. Like where it's very, you're talking elite, elite players to be able to do that throughout the throughout four quarters, and it's just not easy. That is why we have Trey Mann. That is why we have Meaches. That is why we have Bertons who didn't actually shoot well last night. That's why we have the Grant Williams. That's why we have these other guys. Cody Martin can be a case because we're not asking for 20. Those four points here, eight points here, 12 points there, that is what helps. And so I'm not going to ding Miles Bridges for not finishing the game as strong as some people would like considering the first half he had. He put the Hornets in a position to be where, okay, someone else can step up and close out the game because I've carried essentially all the way up, me and Meeches, we carried essentially all the way up to this point. Y'all have to finish it out. I'm cool with that because think about it like this. The reason, think about all the love Joel and B gets. And now we're not comparing it to a game by game. This is comparing how kind of this one game went to, how Joel Embiid's career has gone. Joel Embiid, to me, from outside looking in as a, as just a basketball fan, he gets he gets hurt or you know something. No, actually, I think he's hurt. He's actually hurt this time. But some people say hurt or whatever, whatever you however you want to frame it. He gets hurt towards the end of the season, middle end of the season, where they kind of okay, let's minute restriction, let's take him out of some games, let's not play him all the games, but. In the first half of the season, he's dominant. You're able to take off the, the end of the season because he was so dominant and won you so many games in the first half. And we're seeing that firsthand this year. He, and I, I'm not saying he's not hurt. I, I truly believe he's hurt. This is not one of those videos. I, we're not a, a 76ers channel. But my point is he was so dominant in the beginning that now – the team's not bad. We've seen them win big games without him. But the, they're not – they're in a good position because he put them in such a great position before. So it allows the other players to kind of finish it out and hopefully he can get ready and be prepared for the playoffs. That is what, like I said, I need my I need my team to do. Brandon Miller just so happened to not have that great of a shooting game last night. In fact, it was pretty bad, but he did a lot of other things well. We're missing Mark Williams. We're missing LaMelo Ball. I'm taking, talking about guys who really impact like the, the stat sheet. So it's it, it's going to look a little different. Yes, you're going to want, my, want a little more from Miles, especially because he wants 30 million, which, we're, like I said, we're about to get into. But I'm not mad at it. I think that's something I'm okay with. Sometimes he is going to finish games. We've seen it. He's hit. When he first came back, he hit two game winners and performed pretty well in the fourth quarter in those games. We need that either or. I'm willing to take. So I'm not going to ding you for not being able to be dominant the whole game. He put the Hornets in a great position to win last night and then Grant Williams be able to close it out. I, I think that's all you can really ask for, especially considering the other, your, you know, in this case, your secondhand man, Brandon Miller, wasn't playing that well. And then you're missing LaMelo Ball. So there's just other factors to go into that as well. And then you have Meech step up. Like that, that's just kind of how basketball works. Now, where I, as we're going to take that and move into the whole contract extension talks, it's tough. I don't really know how to feel about giving Miles Bridges a contract, and this is why. The 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 right answer, I'll tell you this. The, the, the right answer is give him the contract. I don't think there's a reason for you not to give him the contract, um, depending on how much he's asking for. Uh, but there's just, there's just no point. There's no point of not giving him the contract. He's too talented. He's too gifted. There's just no reason to not give him the contract. I think that's the right answer. I think that's the route they choose. The owners already said they want to retain him. I, I think that's what you should do. My res, my reservations about that is sometimes, and I've talked about this on the podcast, and I've been doing a really, really bad job of uploading the podcast on here, so I'll make sure that I'll I'll do that because I think there's some points in there that I, I make on a podcast because obviously I can talk a lot longer that I can't really make here or I can't really flesh out the ideas. But Miles Bridges, sometimes by how he plays, it comes off as he is not ready to be a number two. No, he's not that he's not ready. He's not willing to be a number three player. Because in reality, full health is LaMelo, and this is not 
you, you know how I feel about rankings. This is not to say who should get the last shot or who's the best. It's just I'm saying this is just the structure of the team. I mean, you can look at how the team's constructed and you can tell. There's there's nothing. This is, I'm not saying anything new. But it's Lamelo for obvious reasons. Brandon Miller, Miles Bridges. That has to be the hierarchy. Now, like I said, hierarchy to me doesn't necessarily mean this player scores the most, this player scores the second most, this player scores the third most, or this ha who has the ball most, this who has the ball the least. That's not what I'm saying. But the hierarchy definitely should be LaMelo, Brandon, Miles. Miles sometimes does not come off as a guy who is ready to who is willing to be number three. He wants to be number two. And I think he's thrown that opportunity away. He just has. By what he did in that offseason, I know it's water on the bridge. We're not going to keep, you know, hounding on it. But he threw it away. He had the chance. You were going to be Melo's number two guy, and you blew it. They just so happened to get an excellent player who – I feel more comfortable about his skill set overall, even though he is a rookie, so he definitely has time to grow. Uh, he definitely has to grow. I'm not saying he's at Miles Bridges' letter or better than Miles Bridges. He has time. He has to grow, but just from seeing what he could do his rookie year and compared to Miles' first three years in the league, I like what Brandon Miller can do. Yes, Miles Bridges is this incredible player now, but Brandon Miller is kind of doing things that Miles Bridges is doing now, but Brandon Miller is a rookie. I think – that I just like his skill set more. Now, I'm not saying choose is the decision is between Brandon Miller and Miles Bridges. What I am saying is we've seen Miles Bridges settle for terrible shots. He won't try to get, he won't try to get past his defender. He'll just settle for a mid-range jumper and miss. Sometimes it goes in cuz he's he is a talented player. But it's just the decision-making process that goes into that. We don't see him kind of pass the way he used to pass. We don't see him attack the rim the way he used to attack the rim. And even though tonight he had that, oh, last night he had that amazing dunk and it was powerful, we still don't typically see him do that. Now, a lot of it is he is gaining back his just basketball. It, it takes a long time. You missed a whole year. You're not going to get that back even in half a season. It might take a whole season to get it back. So I'm not – Dinging him for it, but it just makes me nervous on giving him that contract. Also, on top of that, I just feel as though he is just not doing kind of – We this is the thing. I think what we're the issue we were having before is we had too many guys trying to score 20 points. In this situation, we're going to have – if once we're full healthy, I we might run into that again. Somebody has to take – and it sounds crazy, but I'm telling you it's true – Somebody has to take that 17, 18 points per game role. Somebody has to do it because not everybody's going to be able to score 20. It's just not the reality, especially considering now we have a better bench, and I'm assuming the bench will probably get even better. High draft pick, not saying a high draft pick. because I don't think there's anybody in the draft off the top of my head that's going to come in and average 15. I don't think so, and depending on the, the, the team they go to, of course. But I don't think there's anybody – that would join the Hornets in an average 15. I just don't see it. But not everybody's going to be able to score 20. Melo, I'm assuming, is going to score like, what, 24, 25, fully healthy. Um, and then you got whoever that second person is. It could be Brandon. It could be Miles. And they're going to average 22, 23, 21, somewhere around there. Someone has to average 18. Someone has 17, somewhere around there. And I don't know who it's going to be. But I think it should be Miles. Because Miles is the one where I think he is a good just middle ground, hold your ground piece. Like, I, I really do believe that. Like, there's there's people on Twitter who've said a lot of times, like, Miles Bridges should take the uh, Draymond Green role. He doesn't need to be Draymond Green. Not the skill set, but just that glue piece. We need someone to be that. And I think it should be Miles Bridges because he has – the ability to be a really good defender, even though at times he just looks lost. He has the ability to just score out of nowhere. And, it were, and if you think about it early, Draymond Green was able to do that at times. He had a playoff series or a playoff game where he's dropped like 23, 24, something like that. And it was huge. So we need someone to kind of fit in that glue role. And I'm hoping it's Miles Bridges. But the thing is, he's got to understand that once we're fully healthy, you cannot do those. I'm not even going to try to get past the defender and just chuck up a shot. Can't do it. You can't do it. And it, it could be looked at because we're missing players. It could be looked at because this is his contract year. He's trying to prove his worth. A lot of things can be looked at, but it's hard to fully evaluate what his value will be in this situation. And it just makes me nervous because of the fact that we just got out of a situation where we really didn't have a hierarchy or any type of structure. 
do I want to run into that again? No. I think it's easy to say, well, Brandon Miller should take it because he is the rookie. And, he, you know, obviously he'll only be his second-year player next year. And I and I can understand that, and I agree with. I don't agree with it, but I, I get it. Like it, it, it makes sense. But I just like Brandon Miller ceiling a lot more, especially next to Lamelo Ball. Miles, I think, like I said, is just going to be the odd man out. So what are the Hornets going to do? Because the money they're going to be have have to give him is a lot. That's a lot of money for. You don't know what you're going to get because he hasn't been that great of a defender this year. He hasn't been doing what he does, what he excels at. He's been trying to do a little more. And personally, I feel like that could be because of the contract. He's trying to get a good contract and say, look, I can do a lot of stuff, so I should get paid you know, to be able to do all these things. And I'm not limited to just being a slasher. I'm not limited to just being a cutter. And I, hey, get your money. I'm not mad at him for getting his money. But the thing is, like I said, it's just going to be interesting to see. I think the right answer is to give him the contract. However, some people make it black and white, and I don't think it's that easy. Just because of the fact that you have to find the structure. You have to find what works. Now, if LaMelo wants to be more of like a pure pure point guard and maybe not score as much, then he could take the, you know what I'm saying? He could drop down to 18 points, 19 points, but have 10, 11 assists or 9 assists and 8. It, it just all depends. It all depends, and it's hard to say without having a full team together. So there's different routes. There's different ways this could be handled. I'm not saying this is something that will stop the team from being great. I'm not saying any of that. I'm saying they just need to figure it out. And, I, and Miles has to understand, like, hey, if – Melo's going to be the one to score 25. Brandon's going to be the one to score 21, 22. I have to be the one to score an efficient 18, which is, I think he's efficient. He just has bad games where I think he settles for a lot of shots. The IQ has to be higher, and the defense has to be better, especially with you being that tertiary guy. I think Brandon Miller is a pretty good defender. I mean, he had four steals last night. Um, so, I don't know. It can get figured out. It's not the end of the world, but it is something to monitor, in my opinion. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Because, like I said, the right answer, given the, give the contract, figure it out later. He's too talented to let him go. And I, he has the skill set to be a good defender. He, he definitely has the skill set of being a good defender. So, I want to see that because I know he can do it. Um, and then, also, we know that he has the ability to just uh, be very efficient at the rim. I feel like he's, he's just not attacking the rim the way he used to. And... I mean, that was the biggest part of his game, and that's something we still need to this day with this team. We still need someone to be able to attack the rim, not worry about who's down there, dunk, do whatever they need to do. And, and I feel like he's just one of the best in the league at it. So seeing him settle for jump shots at times is kind of frustrating, even though I, I just can't tell. I really can't tell. That's why I don't want to harp on it too much. But like I said, it is something to think about. Um, thank you so much for watching. Like I said, leave all your comments down in the, script, uh, in the comment section below about this matter because, once again, I think the right thing to do is to give him the contract. It's just not as – my whole point of this whole video is just to give you something to think about because it's not as black and white as people have made it seem.